Hey, hey folks, today, today is, is Tuesday, Tuesday, May 22nd. 22nd. I feel, I feel like, like I'm introducing, introducing the Friday, Friday show, show, but I'm but not. not. I'm introducing a new show. We are live on Twitch, and we are going to be live on Twitch every Tuesday now, uh, 4 p.m. Eastern. This will also be uploaded to YouTube if everything goes right. Uh, but getting into it, you know, it's me, Jake Baldino, as usual. I'm joined by Andrew. Andrew Gebbia. Gebbia. What's up? No, I'm excited to be here. I hear there's an echo. There's an echo? It should have been fixed. Okay. Yeah, there's going to be some technical difficulties because we're learning how to do this. But for the most part, it should be good. Speaking of technical difficulties, we got Tom on the board over there. Tom, what's up? hey guys, what's up? What are you guys doing? Uh, sitting here, trying to not them explode. Oh, them? They're they're doing fine. Everybody's good, right? We are going to be talking about the news this week. We're also going to be giving away a couple games. Uh, the way we're going to do it is it's just going to be a big surprise randomly. So keep your eyes peeled. We got about four codes to give away on PS4 and Xbox One slash PC. Uh, so definitely keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, we're also going to do a little bit of a debate on air with the show. We like doing, uh, we're, we're trying it. We're going to kind of come up with lists and top tens that we do on the channel during the day for normal work. We're going to do it live on air, uh, possibly with your input. So we're looking forward to that. That could also be a disaster. Oh, it could be very bad. <laughs> could end with one of us dying. Yes. Uh, user Mallow Jewel says Baldino looks like a local TV talk show yeah. host. <laughs> That's what I was going for. That's what I was going for. I feel like a really crappy... Uh, broke, disheveled Jimmy Fallon, um, who doesn't have his own flavor of ice cream, but <laughs> what are you going to do? Oh, he does have ice cream. Yeah, it's, it's actually really good. Wait, is that the one that has the... It's called the Tonight Dough, which... Oh, come that. on. I know, Wait, that one has... They put everything in it. They put, um, cookie dough, They got pretzels? They got the... Pre oh, that's the Mar Maricone Dream. That's, that's the Stephen Colbert one. Yeah. Okay, all right, all right. It's all right. basically the Ben & Jerry's flavor where, like, if you were really high and just, like, dump everything in. See, Jake, that's I've... every Ben & Jerry's yeah. flavor. <laughs> this, no, this one's, like, super... This appeals to people Oops. like me because I don't... I'm not high ever, but I eat like I am. All yeah. the time. Yeah. You that's, know what I mean? uh, so That's why you don't get high because it can only get worse. If Never thought about that. Yeah, don't... Oh, fuck don't, my shit up. Don't do drugs. Uh, let's get into it. Or let's, do. We're not your dad. Let's talk. Thomas, no. <laughs> no, this is a family stream. No uh, drugs. Getting right into the news, the first thing I want to talk about... Uh, you going to tell us what you're playing? Yeah. Well, yeah we, were, playing? we were going to do an introductory... Yeah, let's... let's I was flown. Let's, uh, you know... Why don't we ask Gab where he was going first? To the news. <laughs> yeah. All right. We'll, 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 we'll come back to the news. Uh, no, you, I don't know. I what are wanna... you playing right now? Oh, you got to ask me first? Oh, so oh, oh <laughs> now... Okay. All right. Um, I've been playing State of Decay 2, uh, pretty much exclusively, even after we put the Before You Buy up. Still going? <laughs> yeah, I'm still, like, 50-50 on it. Uh, there's some things about it I really don't like, but then I really like, like, I'm really addicted to the management stuff. I, I'm sorry to introduce, we have a hot message from the chat, which are multiple people, uh, calling out an Eric Andre vibe. Oh, wow, hey! good! Hey! <laughs> Mission accomplished! Uh, we just kind of watch GIFs and clips of it all the time. All day! <laughs> and then we, when we were coming up for the set, we were like, why don't we just... Two curtains like them, pretty much. Yeah, I think we went with two different colors, though, so we weren't completely that. And I'm yeah. also not going to, like, shit on anything. I think that's, like, something that you have to do. Like, whatever. physical, like, fecal matter. Yeah, I, like, okay. I will not shit on this couch. Okay. I will... Yeah, please don't. It's maybe white. pee on it. Enough. I won't, I won't shit on it. Uh, what are you playing? I know you were, you were yelling before about Donkey Kong. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm playing Tropical Freeze. Uh, it's very good. I like it. Did you get to Africa yet? Yeah, so I love it. I love the level, it's, the level design is so good. Is every world does every world have the the level moving with the music? Because um, I really notice it. There. I don't know. I think so. Kind of off the top of my head. Now I've only All played right. through it like once. Okay, so. I, I really notice it there. Uh, no, I'm liking it a lot. It's my first playthrough. I never played it on Wii U because I never I owned one for like a little bit mm -hmm. and I didn't like it, so I got rid of it. Mm -hmm. um, but playing it now having a blast i also love platformers so tom how do you cool. feel about uh how do you feel about funky kong i don't like him funky kong rules yeah, he does he's the yeah. absolute he's man the coolest dude. Like he's got him. shorts he's, like he him. hangs out you don't he's like got him? shorts he's got a bandana he's like a cool divorced uncle that I comes like and hang out hangs out and he's like hey i brought you beer and like you know let's go and he's like got the tank top too let's go break fluorescent light tubes <laughs> I just want to come behind my van and just break light bulbs. Uh, I'm liking it a lot. I'm also playing a shit ton of Destiny 2 again. Uh-oh, sound the alarm. Warmind, oh stop, don't give in to that. Warmind has me back on the, the, the train again and like Damn playing really hard. And What? 
start my third character. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you mean your sixth character? Well, it, yeah, six. But I'm not count yes. PlayStation. I'm not counting those <laughs> anymore. Those characters are dead. What? Those characters what are dead. What does that mean, dead? Like I'm never playing it there again. Oh God. Because it's so good you on you PC. You kick them off a mountain to get the soul stone. <laughs> <laughs> good night. Gonna, there's gonna be a lot of that. That's horrible. Yeah. But uh, no, I'm playing that. It's a lot of fun. Uh, Bungie did a lot of cool shit with the season three changes. Mm -hmm. All the season three changes are like better than Warmind. And I think people are having, people think really? that that's all like the okay. same thing, but the season three changes and Warmind are like two separate things. Mm -hmm. So like all the exotic changes are like really cool because now they feel more exotic. Like uh, the Graviton Lance and the Darcy, which were like okay, are like awesome. There's a gun called the Darcy? Yeah. <laughs> it's also, it's also a funny name. really cool looking. But uh, no, we don't have to talk about that. Uh, I'm just glad you're satisfied with it, especially yeah, at, I love at, it. at first when Warmind dropped, it was just kind of like, it seems like fans weren't Osiris? really... Osiris? The newest one. Warmind. Warmind. It seemed like when Warmind first dropped, the oh. initial reactions were like, but like once everything else with Warmind associated yeah. started like to like I said, out. I think the season three changes launching with Warmind yeah. were really good for the sh uh, for the um, the add-on, because yeah. I think people are just lumping all of that together, mm -hmm. like the Crucible changes, the exotic changes, um, like, I don't know. I think I, I think it's like a step in the right direction, but it's definitely like I have people asking me on Twitter like, oh, if I wasn't really into Osiris, like, would I be into this? My mm -hmm. answer to you is technically no, but kind of yes because now you have two expansions that you didn't touch. That's like a good amount of content. Yeah. But um, rumor has it that the next one in the fall is going to be really cool. And they had that summit where they had content creators and Twitch streamers and shit come out and, like, talk to Bungie. Get that real feedback. About it. Yeah, and everything, like, they're super, like, the people that I follow that went on Twitter, they're, like, super cryptic about it. Mm -hmm. But everything they do say is, like, really cool. But this isn't a Destiny podcast. <laughs> we should talk about stuff that everyone cares but, about. Before we move on, uh, Saxy Saxophone Man has asked if you guys have played uh, Warframe. Because a lot of people are talking about Warframe when yeah. Destiny comes up because that always happens. Yeah. yeah. Have, I, you, have yeah. you jumped into that yet? No. No. So I, I played it when it first came out. So was it I, less yeah, overwhelming yeah. then? Yeah. Because like that's what turned me off was like how mm -hmm. overwhelming it was. Mm -hmm. Not that's I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Yeah. It's just like I think when I checked it out, I was playing like three other games. I yeah. just couldn't give the time that it deserved. Mm -hmm. I only got like, about five hours in like the most the, the newest version, the good the good Warframe. Yeah. Uh, I hop back in. I downloaded it. It does a way better job of easing you in now. Uh, the way it, it starts okay. out, it's like very structured, very, it like rolls out everything, then it gets you to your ship and where you can access things, but first you play through like an introductory mission, and um, it, it definitely, uh, also it's gorgeous, it looks incredible. It's a very, and, and all the design, well the, not the, I think the, a lot of the enemies are kind of dumb, but like, are they called Tenos? Yeah, the, the suits, The yeah. space ninja men? Yeah. They all look fucking awesome. All the ones that look like Genji from We have the explicit it's, thing on, right? I can curse? Yeah. By yeah. the way? Okay. Just making sure I don't I think, think that's so. a thing right. you have. Yeah, whatever. Okay. <laughs> I saw Tom's face go. Wait a minute. <laughs> I, I don't know. If, I don't know if it works like that. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. They look like I don't either. know, man. It's, yeah. uh, Twitch is weird. It yeah. is. We're figuring it out. It, it looks like uh, th th those Tenos look like uh, both Genji and Giver. Your Giver. Hell, fuck David yeah. Hater. Day one, and we got a Giver mention. <laughs> yeah. On the show. Cut the stream. We're done. We got it. We're good. Yeah, good question, though. Um, Tom, I do want to know what you're playing. What are you playing? Mm -hmm. Anything good? Uh, playing Battle Chef Brigade, finally. About time. Uh, that's a good. pretty good video game. Yeah. Uh, they do the really cool match three stuff. The having to get all of the, uh, like, all of the materials and assets and whatnot is cool. Uh, I know, Andrew, you played that, right? Battle like, Brigade? Yeah, yeah. You played it when it first came out? Oh, I loved it. It's yeah. Cool. yeah. It's, it's really so good. good. Have you gotten into it, Jake? Uh, only, I've only really gotten into it a little bit, but I love the art. I love the way it looks. Yes. Uh, the combat is cool. Even though, like, combat isn't, like, a gigantic focus, it's still fun. Yeah, you know? it's, it works for what it is. Mm -hmm. And you're talking about, like, collecting your ingredients. Yeah, going out and yeah. killing okay. animals. Yeah. To it it works It works for, like, what it is. It gets rough for, like, some of the harder stuff, like, when you have to get, like, dragons and whatnot. Yeah. The presentation, though, the presentation is, like, top-notch. Like, oh, it's, the way, it's, it's great. Especially once you get into the actual... Battle Chef, like mm -hmm. it's it's really cool. It's beautiful. And yeah. All the voice acting is great. I can't wait for that uh, Sushi Striker game. Oh yeah, to me it's just like the, it's like the baby version of that. Yeah. So I'm like cool, like give it to me. <laughs> you want to talk news? Sure. Let's get yeah. Into it. Yeah. Uh, so the first thing we got to break down is kind of a surprise. I didn't see this coming. Resident Evil Seven is coming to Switch, sort of. So it's only announced right now in Japan, but Capcom announced that it is going to be available uh, as a streaming game 
pretty soon. It's good. The way it's going to work, it's going to be a 45 megabyte install, and then the rest of the game is streamed directly to your console, like, uh, uh, you know, like, like NVIDIA, like in GeForce NVIDIA, Now, or GeForce whatever Now, or the PSN, uh, yeah. uh, PS Play, whatever. I'm like totally drawing a blank. But that is very sudden and surprising. Yeah. It's cool because the creators were into the Switch. As, as a lot of game developers seem to be, they're into the Switch as a device, mm -hmm. so they they wanted from the start to get Resident Evil 7 on yeah, there. Yeah, no, it makes sense. But obviously, Resident Evil 7 is insane. Yeah. It looks so good. I wonder how much um, this was influenced by them seeing how good Outlast did on Switch. Because I'm pretty I, sure I was reading that Outlast did very good on Switch. I don't know if it was one of the games that, like... Didn't like Stardew do better on Switch than it did anywhere else or something? I don't, I don't know, but I know it does well. Yeah, I, and I know. Only, yeah, I'm just I curious. Know Stardew is like still on the top charts. On yeah. The Switch. So I think they definitely saw that, and I think the streaming aspect of the story mm. is like very interesting because it's what they had to do. They couldn't yeah, get the real game running. I think specifically it's the RAM in the Switch that's mm. holding them back from getting it like actually on the console, and I guess they didn't want to lose any. Um, like they don't want to lose any. Fidelity. Fidelity, thank you. That's where I was looking for. It's lost. And, yeah. if it's not like a dark, creepy game. Exactly. And I guess you're like this isn't a game I rec. I, if this could be played mobily, I recommend not playing it mobily. This is a mobily? game you mobily, mobily, mobile, on the go. <laughs> mobily. How do you say it? Uh, Mo mobily. <laughs> you just don't use that word that way. Mobily on the go. This should be played with the lights off, like in the dark. Yeah. So I guess them just like, all right, here's how we like get it to you, and mm -hmm. this is the only way we get it to you. Yeah. And, like, I was telling Jimmy yesterday, if this means that more people who didn't get to play it get to play it, sign me the fuck up. By all means. Chef kiss. Yes. Uh, like, especially, so cool. I'm, I'm really curious, though, uh, the way the streaming thing works. So, that's something they couldn't have just come up with overnight. So. Sorry. I saw someone in the comment just say Mowgli. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was thinking of the whole time you were saying that. <laughs> Rest in peace. That Is was uh, static struck. Good job, oh, man. Of course. Got me to laugh. Um, so... It's it's weird just because uh, I want to know what Capcom is doing platform wise for this. What is this streaming platform? That's if, like, is it going to be more than just? I this? can't find enough information about that yet. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they they have released much, but that's... you just want to play DMC Devil May Cry on there, right? Yeah, or all of them for that matter. <laughs> is this the first like streaming game on Switch? You brought up Devil May Cry. Uh, can we just uh, can we just get something out on the table now for everyone sure, watching yeah. at home? Um, maybe they're saying, oh, I don't watch Game Ranks too much, or the Friday show sometimes I don't I don't I don't really know everybody the whole game ranks crew what they're about what they're like uh, what you guys need to know is that all three of us in this room uh, we we really like Iron Man three oh yeah so absolutely you know where we stand pretty much at, in, with everything on most things <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's besides the point yeah uh, with this Resident Evil version uh, there is no talk of a Western release yet. Um, However, I, I do see it becoming a thing. I don't see this just being a flash in the pan for Japan. I didn't mean for that to rhyme at all. Flash in the pan for Japan. So, we'll see where it goes. I think it's an exciting time, though. It's just uh, more companies putting their stuff on Switch. Speaking of, did you guys see the uh, the Wolfenstein box, the box art, art or for like, oh, the yeah. Switch version? Oh, yeah. oh, my God. Like the alternate, not the... Well, yeah. even the... Is the that main. what it is? Is it a flip cover? Is that what that is? I don't know. They said get it now, so I don't feel I like think like, you know, it. sometimes you can print them out and put them in. Yeah. It's great, though. Like, I, I love that. I'm all about that art. Uh, moving on mm. to talking about something really Did you good. see, just as kind of goes along with Wolfenstein, mm -hmm. did you see that um, Nintendo, is it okay if I touch your desk? You looked at me. I didn't mean to. Oh. No. Um, touch how... me again. See what happens. Ow, fuck. Oh, you actually sorry. caught me I right hard. in between. Sorry. I'm live. I'm nervous. It's all good. Um, how nintendo does the big white banner across like the physical copies for switch yeah like for la noir they did it mm -hmm. and then they were supposed to do it for Mega Man. and when people picked up their copies today it's not on there mm -hmm. so they might be doing away with that oh because wolfenstein would have had that too. yeah yeah just a little fun yeah, a little tidbit. tidbit uh speaking of tidbits my favorite tidbits the yakuza games uh more oh, of them are coming yeah. to the west yeah man more com are coming to the west yakuza 3 4 and 5 are confirmed to come to ps4 getting a remaster in full HD. Um, it doesn't seem like it's getting that full remake treatment that Kiwami got, unfortunately, but it will run 60 FPS 1080p, that is via Famitsu, um, and 3 is coming around August 8th in Japan. Overall, I think this is great news. Um, what do you guys think? Just because 
I, I, I wish they would all get the full treatment, but I know that's asking a lot. Uh, yeah. But I'm hoping that as things keep <coughs> going, Excuse maybe me. they will reconsider that. Maybe. I don't know. Um, I mean, this is cool as someone who really wanted to play the new Yakuza, mm -hmm. but only played some of Zero. Mm -hmm. And, like, part of why I fell off of Zero was because I didn't think they were going to push out, damn like... Damn it, Andrew, just play it. It's so good. Mm -hmm. Well, I was going to say, like, I didn't finish it. Like, I wasn't so bummed about not finishing it because I knew... Like, I wasn't going to play everything else leading up to the new one yeah. because it, it, I'm not going to dig out my old consoles. You got you to gotta just do Zero and then Kiwami, and then, yeah, that's a bummer. So now you can patiently grind through those. They take long enough. By the know? time I finish one, the next one will be yeah. coming out for yeah. me. The fact that they are working on yeah. Kiwami 2, like, I think that's super dope. Kiwami so. 2's done. It comes out. Yeah. So Kiwami 2 excellent. is... 2, technically. Yeah, it's 2. Yakuza 2. Okay. So I can't... I'm confused. It's tricky, but... It's good. Uh, I don't. Do you know the deal? What is the deal around two? What's? Do you know the what story you or the like deal? the? Because like the trailer, he fights a tiger, and that's all I really know. No, nice. that's all we really need to know, I guess. It's more Dojima family, just drama. More bullshit. Yeah, which is all I want. It's more Japanese Sopranos, basically. I'm fine with that. That's good. Uh, yeah. If you guys haven't played Yakuza games, uh, that's pretty much the pitch right there. Tom kind of nailed it. Uh, beat 'em up games that are also very much uh, running around small open environments, punching men, uh, but also just kind of doing Japanese stuff and side quests. In 6, you can uh, recruit cats to work at a cat cafe. Yeah. Uh, all kinds of stuff like that. You can go to a Sega arcade and play old Sega games. A you can play uh, Afterburner. Well, as goofy as the game is, it's also heavily story-focused, so there is a lot of great character building, tense moments and scenes and over-the-top fights and... I can't really say many things bad about the games, other than that they might seem obtuse at first. They might be a little overwhelming at first. Yeah, bit. they're definitely overwhelming, but yeah. not in like a... Nothing ever feels like super filler. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like I want to do everything. I want to see everything. Yeah. It's not like... It's a, all well-crafted. There's not a lot of like repeat cookie-cutter stuff. It's not like... Yeah. Side quests where it's like go out there and get four balloons. And, and all the side quests again. are so fun. Like every one is so different. With weird like dialogue. the people. I mean, like the characters yeah. you talk to and weird interactions yeah. with people. Basically, they take a character who's like, like the like Scarface tone, like car Scarface kind of like Solid Snake mixed together with. Who else would you combine him with? He's, He's just kind a of really everybody. cool dude. Yeah. He's basically every cool video game character ever, as a, as a as a a Yakuza crime boss in a suit and they make him interact with the goofiest d and put him in the goofiest and dumbest situations. The whole turkey or chicken dinner thing is still one of my favorite like video game things that happen. Yeah. Like, oh, ever. Nugget? Nugget the chicken when he wins it in the bowling match, That's right? still one of my favorite things that ever happened yeah. in like G video games. Game of the year. Basically, series yeah. of the year, I would say. At least for me. Yeah. Agreed. He made a believer out of me. Uh, Before move we move on, yeah. chat, Jake is wearing pants. So, oh. Yes. Yeah. Um, fun fact, the first whole year of the Friday show, didn't wear pants. That's besides the point. Fortnite, let's talk about Fortnite. Something that I don't know a lot about. But after three months of knowing uh, they were actually coming, jetpacks are now in the game. I think people are excited. <laughs> uh, it's a legendary item that can drop in chests, and it takes up a new slot called backpacks. Which is different from back bling, which is cosmetic. And when you put back on bling the... sounds disgusting. And when you oh put on <laughs> when you put on the jetpack, it gets rid of your back bling. Okay. Like like wings, like the angel wings or something like that. Back yeah. packs. Got it. Yeah. Uh, so you use it for a limited amount of time to fly, then you got to stop and recharge it. Um, how do you have you? Gotten your hands on this at all? You're it's like alive today, I think. No, okay, so I you haven't, haven't yet. But no, you're the no. Resident Fortnite player. Uh, How do yeah. you expect this to change things, especially considering uh, console, from the video least, that I've game? seen? Probably not too much, just because it's the very it quick. It's more of a boosted jump mm -hmm. than like a flying type of deal. Yeah. And there's a lot of videos online of people like doing it and dying because of how short that burst is. I love it. That's just from what I've seen online. There was a headline. Like, I think it was the Kotaku headline. It was like uh, people that maybe don't know how jetpacks work because there were people just flying straight up and then hoping to just land on the ground. Yeah, it'd be and okay. Die. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it does seem like from what I've seen because I just kind of I don't play the game, but I watch like the competitive live streams. Really, um, it seems like it's going to be good for essentially moving from one building to another. Like I saw a guy. Like there was a guy trying to shoot him. In yeah, one building. that and just trying to like flew escape over a, like a you know some yeah dude, like evasive like, stuff. Yeah, more more of that. Not not like traversal in the sense of like um Bye, I'm going uh yeah, I'm leaving I'm I'm going to Tomato Town now. Getting out of uh Is that a place, Tomato Town? Tomato Town. So this is temporary though. Yeah. Sorry, that if that upset you. 
Is, is this temporary? I don't know. It, that's, I don't know. That's what I want to know. I have. Uh, I don't know. I can, couldn't. Can Thanos get the the jet? Thanos pack? is gone. Oh, that was timed. That was that short. That was that really was short. longer than I thought it would be. Really? Yeah. They announced wow. it was leaving, and then they're like, "Okay, it's gone tomorrow." Yeah. Wow. Who are they gonna get next? They're gonna do something again because people liked it a lot. Like um, from what I, I didn't get to play because Destiny consumed me by then. But um, do you think they'll do like uh, they'll keep that concept and maybe ca- and maybe move set and just make a Fortnite character that can do that? Oh, probably not. I don't know. I think it's fun if they keep doing that. Like, because like, I feel like that's expensive to have the license for Thanos. Like, probably. You know. Oh, just picture like if they did it with Deadpool. Deadpool is popping up marketing wise everywhere. Yeah, I can see. Imagine that. he popped like he was a playable character like. For that, like if they if they did more modes like that, that like I don't know movie tie-in the stuff guy is from like HQ weird. Shows up, Scott Rogowski shows oh, up. And yo, he's like, hey! if Scott Rogowski <laughs> shows up into Fortnite, I will lose my mind. I, I, I love him. I wouldn't be I surprised. Him. Or put the Rock, put the Rock in Fortnite. Can we start that hashtag? Put the Rock in Fortnite. Steve, hi, I see you're in there. Steve's in here. Steve Spawn. Friend of the show, yeah. Steve. Check out his channel. He's he's killing it. He's he got just got partnered. Yeah, congratulations, yeah. man. Oh, and meanwhile, we're over here like, what is Twitch? Yeah, you know, we're I know. like, oh, we don't know what to do. We were all screaming at each other <laughs> up until the point we went live. Yeah, there's actually a text on your phone of me apologizing to you. He went to go get coffee. Is and there? I texted him, and I was like, oh, you didn't read my apology? No. So we're just not cool yet? No, we're cool. Okay. Yeah, you can read it out loud if you want. I'm not going to say that. Because uh... we were like, last minute technical difficulties, and... Uh... Oh, I could have been nicer to you and not a douche. Oh, come here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just Thanks. wanted a show to be good. I wanted us all to get no, up. No, we're good. Right we're good. It does look like it's raining, and our internet goes out when it rains, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, moving on, Halo 6 is back you in the news. You put my phone out. That's a thing. This uh, is your fault. When, what are you doing now? Don't worry about it. You're being rude? We're on a live television show. Uh, television. Uh, Halo 6 is apparently a thing. Uh, they just recently announced Halo Fireteam Raven, and a lot of fans were freaking out that uh, this is... This was going to be what Halo 6 was or something. The community manager of 343, Brian Gerard, did go on Twitter to clarify that Fireteam Raven is actually worked on by a, a different uh, company, uh, Raw Thrills and Play Mechanics. And then he went to say that 343 is actually working on the next Halo game, mm-hmm. which is something that we've kind of been aware of or assumed. Like, it's like, what do you think the Gears of War guys are working on right now? Not Gears of War. You don't think so? It's a joke. Good one. Good joke. Uh, so... Halo 5 dropped in what? 2015? So... Uh, yeah. 2015, what year is it now? 2018. Thank you. Uh, that's been a while. I think it makes sense. Um, I think, if anything, Microsoft is wanting to get good games right now. So yeah, that and, would and be with, one. That would and be with perfect. Guardians, they need to like get this right. Yeah. Because Guardians, people are very upset. Um, someone on Twitter asks, uh, at the hentai bro, do you... <laughs> <laughs> Do you think Halo 6 should bring back split screen or should it be gone for good? Was that not in Halo 5? And if it wasn't, hell yes, bring it back. Uh, yeah, I believe that was a big deal. That was like one of the biggest controversies. Yeah, bring it back. 343 just not having that. Bring it back. Bring yeah. it back. I hate to say it. I know like the, the industry is changing here and there, but I want a big, strong single player component. Oh, that me is too. memorable. And, and, yes. And 5 didn't do it for me. Okay, yeah. I liked what they were going for in the, in, you know, leading up to it, but then playing the game, it kind of felt like a wet fart to me. Yeah. However, I think they got a lot of the multiplayer stuff right, um, especially at launch. I think it had a fairly decent launch. Um, some of those modes were really cool. Some of the larger modes. Is that multiplayer? the battler-based mode that I wasn't into. But... Is it still supported? Like, do people still yes. play that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, they're also trying to still get... Uh, they're still trying to perfect the Master Chief collection. So... Still, like they're years still, later, still? yeah, but it's all running off of player feedback, so I, I do think that's cool. Uh, let's get into his tweets though. So he did say, I'll read it out loud. PSA: Fireteam Raven has worked zero impact on the 343 development team, which has already been working on the next console game. Halo: uh, Fireteam Raven is built by an external arcade developer. Um, okay, that's pretty much it. I get that people are super eager for any info on the next real game, but I don't get the blind outrage. Totally a separate cool thing people will enjoy. So that's cool. That's good to know that they are working on something. Uh, I don't think we needed him to tweet it to know, but it's nice to see it like concrete. Yeah, he. I, yeah, I think sometimes you don't need to acknowledge everything, but I'm still kind of glad that we did get some yeah, clarification. No. Um, I saw s- someone ha- had asked us, "Do you think that we could see this announced at E3?" Halo mm-hmm. Six. What do you think, Tom? What do you think? Halo Six. Yeah. Announced E3. at E3. I think 
we'll get a tease probably. Yeah, I'm with yeah. Tom. I think we'll get a tease. Um, I don't know if it'll be as like vague as a Halo Five one where they just showed Homeboy's face. Yeah. And just like called it a day. Was that the one where he had the coat? Or is that four? No, that was the coat. Yeah, f- the coat was five, wasn't I it? I thought it was four. Either way, I don't know. Bring it back. That's the that coat. Kind of, yeah. That's kind of all I want. Um, I feel like. <laughs> they drop a they drop a teaser, a cinematic teaser again, and he's got a coat, and they're like, "This time, it stays on." Yeah, and then boom, cool. the lights go down. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I, my priorities are really stupid. Nah, that is a sick coat. You ever see the toy for that, the action figure? Yeah, it's like a it's big chunk so of plastic. So stupid looking because it's just this piece of rock essentially, yeah. and his little head is popping out. It. Poor little guy. Uh, but no, I, I think we could see it announced. What about you? Do you think so? Um, Eddie three this year because they got to come out swinging, and I think Halo is a good. I like, think if. It feels like time. Like, it doesn't feel like it's like, wow, another Halo already. Like, it, it feels like time uh, for one to at least be teased. Even if it's far off, I feel like Microsoft is wanna, is going to want to get that buzz to kind of, you know, get it going. So, I, I could see it. Yeah. Being, I'd say 50-50. Freaking typical fence there, me. But it could go either way. I really would like it, though. Yeah, same. Me, too. Uh, speaking of Xbox, though, uh, we do have... Uh, our first giveaway. So this is how it's going to go. Ready? Uh, this is State of Decay 2. Uh, you can redeem this on um, your Xbox or your PC. That's the code right there. This is how we're doing it, live on air. Yeah, hold uh, on have, a little bit longer, I guess. Yeah. We have multiple more. codes to give away. Uh, I will have PS4 codes later on in the show. So that's a thing. Uh, if you are watching the recorded version of this, uh, we are working on a way to do giveaways for you guys as well if you're not watching live. Uh, for now, I'd say go to the Friday show and enter our console giveaway that we do every single week because that is also a thing if you're not watching live. So this is State of Decay. Whoever gets it, good luck. Hope you got fast fingers. Be ready for next time. I'm just going to kind of randomly do it. This is, this is fun. I hope uh, hope you got it. So make sure you remember what code you just showed so you don't show. Okay. Yeah, I, I numbered them. Okay, I'm yeah. just making sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm organized, sure. man, I'm for once in sure. my life. Uh, moving on, PS4 and its life cycle. This is, this is kind of a wild story that kind of blew up real quick. Um, so this is at Sony IR Day. The Sony president and CEO, uh, Suyo, uh, Suyo, Suyoshi Kodera, I'm sorry, I'm so bad at that. Suyoshi Kodera stated that the PlayStation 4 is finally entering the final phase of its console life cycle. That quote right there is enough to really make everybody start talking. Like, oh my God. Um, I think the key takeaway here is that um, Sony also followed up. I don't know if you saw that. No, I didn't. What did they uh, say? There was a follow-up saying, like, hey, uh, we also, you know, we are continuing to support uh, PSN and the Sony platform and PS4 specifically to 2021. So that, the, that doesn't mean that they're not... So they're saying that they're not abandoning the PS4, but they did not not say that we're getting another console. I still don't think we are right away. I don't think we would see anything until 2020. Yeah, I, I think I can get behind that. Because I keep thinking how adamant they are about um, Death Stranding being a PS4 game. And how that game still is like two years out, at least. Yeah. So, that, like, I don't know. I know that's like, you can't base everything off that because that could just be delayed. Never mind, it's a PS5 game now. But I still just think we still have a little bit. Yeah. But end of life cycle that makes sense i mean it's it, even if it's like two three years it's such, still a, it's such a hard thing because ish. the console's been out for a while if you've had it day one you feel like you've had it for a while but with the way consoles work some people don't get them until a couple of years later mm-hmm. uh they save up and they finally get one I, i've been in that situation before with the yeah. s3 in particular i finally saved up and got one and it was like it was like the end of it yeah so it's it's weird because I understand like people like us, people that pay attention to this stuff, you guys watching, chances are, um, yes, you can look at it on paper and say, wow, the PS4 and Xbox is outdated. Some PS4 and Xbox One games can barely do 1080p, 60 FPS. Uh, but to mainstream consumers, I think they don't freak out about that as much. So I think until it starts impacting the games being made, like where the games are being held back, I, th- I think we're good. I think yeah. we have like a year or two before that happens. Yeah, I don't I mean, think there are still terrible. competent games being put out on console. Yeah, definitely. So, I don't, I mean, I don't look know. Look at God of War. God of War is. I, I also just more don't want to. Okay. I don't want to buy another console. I think I just, I gonna, just bought one. I think we're gonna see a like next gen game at E3 this year. Uh, they won't say it's a next gen game, but they'll be like, "This is running on a um, next generation." Next generation console. PC components, even. Oh, like right? like a low key like. 
hey, just well, so y'all know. Well, was it Watch Dogs that they showed and they yes. said this is a next-gen game, but the PS4 wasn't actually announced yet? I think that was Watch well, Dogs. Well, Watch Dogs was supposed to be a launch game? Yeah. It was supposed to that it wasn't, right? Yeah, okay. but they had first showed that shit off when it looked like amazing, and they were and also saying, hey, this is running on a, P uh, on a PC that's essentially trying to emulate whatever the next console it will came be. out and it wasn't. Yeah. I was thinking about that game the other day, though. The whole yeah, scene we were, yeah. where the Wu-Tang song Cream plays, and it's just a shootout with these criminals in this warehouse yeah. with that song playing is like awesome. such an inspired moment for that game that otherwise didn't yeah. do it for me in all ways. And then when we were driving to go see uh, The Misfits over the weekend, we went over the, uh, whatever bridge, and you were like, huh. Whatever bridge. This is kind of like... Like a New Jersey bridge. You know, like those like, yeah, yeah. shit bridges? No, exactly. It's like, oh, this is like the bridge you drive over to get to your like secret hacker hideout and watch those. Yeah, Aiden Pierce's cool bridge to Funtown. That's, like, that's what they called it. Oh, God. Anyway. The bridge to Funtown. Uh, moving on, I want to know what you guys think about the Battlefield 5 teaser. We got the tease for the tease. So the real reveal is tomorrow on the 23rd, if you're watching this. That will be a Wednesday. Uh... But today, or rather yesterday, we got, like, the teaser for the teaser. I think it was leaked yesterday. It officially came out today, I thought. Either way, it's like, it's like a second long. doesn't tell us much. Did you, see, did you, like, see what was going on in it, though? I, Tom and I paused it and, and looked at it, and you can't see much. It's hard to even tell what the dude's deal is, yeah. but what you can see is on the top, because it's an in-game screenshot. Yes, exactly. You can see uh, what looks like a Union Jack. Mm-hmm flag and a uh one of the symbols that nazi germany used during the war there's also like a press x to excuse me like a press x to whatever action oh uh, yeah it there. said like squad spawn on you plus 20 or something. yeah something uh, like so that that's so that's definitely multiplayer first and foremost but it was weird that there was a character getting up in the dude's face and going Shh, in multiplayer that's what yeah, does that mean I don't, I don't know that that's what's that's what's weird and what's interesting i don't know that's if different. that's something to look into yeah or if it's just for the teaser purpose what the hell is that it's hard know. to tell. Uh, it, it's it's really hard to tell what the dude was. I know, like it seems pretty much World War Two, but that guy I couldn't really identify. Like he had goggles, so it was like maybe he's like a tank guy, but you couldn't tell really what his outfit was. Yeah, I know. In our Discord, there were uh, people going off about those goggles and how those are. Someone was saying that those are World War Two like issued goggles, but FPS I don't know finished if said he they're... saw a dinosaur in the glasses reflection. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah. I, I wish. Okay, so what if it's like fucked up alternate history World War II where there are dinosaurs? I love in my brain that alternate history World War II is there is dinosaurs. So it's resistance, but with dinosaurs instead of aliens. Yeah, I'm into that. That would be cool. I don't think. What do we want from Battlefield Five? Uh, what do, what I do we want, want more if they're gonna like campaign wise. Yeah. If I want more of the episodic campaigns that we got with one or were, Battlefield One, because I, I loved. They that. were good. I Those loved campaign it. things were cool. Man. Yeah, and I think the best way to make you care about that sort of like story mm -hmm. is to make it short and sweet. Yeah. Not like Call of Duty World War Two, where they dragged out the story where about these characters I didn't care about, yeah. and because of like the length helped me not like it. Yeah. Whereas if you just make it short and sweet, it's like. It's le less room to fuck up. Mm. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. you can make it like super interesting and make you really care about the character before just taking them away. I think there's a lot of potential, especially with uh, World War II, because uh, I, for me, as someone who was totally down to go back to World War II and was into campaigns and stuff, uh, Call of Duty World War II didn't quite do it for me. It was a lot down for me. It was a lot down for me. So I think they have potential here, especially since I feel like they did hit their stride with Battlefield 1 in terms of, you know, maybe some, some hardcore fans had issues with some of the multiplayer aspects, but I think in terms of presentation and uh, gunplay and story stuff, I thought they had it pretty unlocked. So they honestly could have just made another World War One game, and I would have been interested to see that, like if they just kept on trying that weird period of history, yeah. even though some of it was... Not totally accurate. Yeah. Uh, no. Speaking of that, though, uh, someone did point out that the icons for the teams don't quite match up. Apparently, um, I, I don't know what exactly, but like someone had teased the possibility, like, hey, maybe it is some sort of alternate history, or they're playing with it. Because the way I think of that being valid, at least, is them maybe saying, hey, let's try something different. There's so many World War II games. What if we make a weird World War II yeah. game? I still want uh, Battlefield. 2022 what what is it 2240 2142 yeah i want 2143 i want that because that was great me and tom were talking about battlefield this morning and w 
what we want out of a new Battlefield, which we're obviously not getting with this. It's just like a modern day one because like I just want another Battlefield Four. Yeah. Because I love that yeah. game and that's really good. And I would, I, would, I would be fine with just that. Yeah. Like a normal ass modern just day shooter with game. sick multiplayer. Yeah. You how many how many players in the battle royale mode are there gonna be? <laughs> A good question. V, there's gonna be five. Good one. Thanks. Uh, I did want to point out. Uh, no, I lost my train of thought. But uh, Nalentine does have an interesting. Uh, he said, "Imagine a battlefield where we get to fight through eras in different game modes. Unlikely to happen, but I bet it would be great to play multiplayer and campaign in World War One, World War Two, Vietnam, modern times. That's ambitious as hell. That would be really cool. Yeah. I think. Hey, credit to Black Ops." Who who done it? But Black Ops, Black Ops had multiple time periods, did it not? Which one? Um, one and two. Didn't one and two bounce? I don't time remember period? those games at one all. Sixties uh, and, and modern times. And then two. One had... did like multiple campaigns. Yeah, I believe. Man, I'm still and so two, sad that. Yeah, and two was like future with like old, uh, wrinkled dude, and then also like his son or grandson yeah. or whatever. It's funny, 2 is a blur. I love 1 so much, but 2 is a blur, and I just remember those cutscenes of the old man in the wheelchair like yelling at you. And then that was it. That was the whole game. But what are you going to do? Uh, moving on. I Black guess Ops 2 ruled. Black Ops 2 did rule. I mean, it's no Black Ops 1, which rules even Black harder. Black Ops 2 is but... the one where you went on a murdering spree, right? Uh, with, like, the, the machete, machete one? Yeah, 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 that was Black Ops 2. Yeah, that was... That was... That was excellent. That whole game, uh, even the multiplayer managed to stick around way longer than anyone expected, which is awesome for a Call of Duty game. Uh, but since we are talking about it, Black Ops 4, the announcement, uh, we didn't have time to cover everything on the Friday show, so I figured we'd break it down a little bit more. Can we do um, a rundown or you got it? Yeah, give, it, give us a rundown. All right, uh, this is from usgamer.net, usgamer.net. Usgamer. I knew it's US. I just, <laughs> it's funny. Um, so, uh, right off the bat, no single player, uh, no campaign mode, uh, but it does have solo missions, like, that each operator has that will kind of give you a little bit of story and lore, and, uh, Zombies has, uh, like, seems to be their replacement for the campaign, that's where you're gonna get a lot of the narrative stuff, um, but it's not there, there's no campaign. Um, 100% boots on the ground. Gameplay, no wall climbing, no they, they thrust said, jumps. They sent boots on the ground, and then they immediately showed a dude grappling hooking across the map. Hey, yeah. they said boots on the ground. They didn't say uh, feet on the ground. His <laughs> boots are literally off the ground. Unless he zips out of his boots. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> leave <laughs> your boots on the ground whenever you go <laughs> Then up. technically his boots are still on the ground. God damn it. Um, so they're getting away from like the thrust jumpers and stuff like that that That's they fine. did in the previous. That's fine. I still no, like definitely. slides. I like sliding. Slides are fun. Yeah. Um, slides weapons are fun. are getting a complete overhaul with unique attachments for each gun. That's cool. I like mm -hmm. that too. I'm a sucker for just any customization. Uh, they seem like that. That was the thing in, uh, on stage where they just they kept showing broke down it. the whole yeah, it weapon cool. thing. That looks like uh, Ghost Recon Future Soldier. They yeah, did that a lot. it's never going to be that cool, but it looked cool. Yeah. Um, this I'm like oddly really into, and there's there's no automatic health regeneration, so you have to actually hit a button to heal yourself, okay. or like through a medic. But I like that because it's kind of like how. In any shooter, like, the reload has become, like, twitched now. Yeah. Where it's like, I kill the man, just, like, it's, like, twitched it, hit, whatever, right. reload your gun. That's just how you do it. Mm -hmm. So now you have to work in another type of thing like that. Oh, okay. Where it's like, I killed the man, I got to heal myself, and I got to reload my gun. So you have to you have to get used to, like, hitting R, hitting square, or hitting whatever. I like that, and it, especially because it doesn't interrupt uh, gameplay. Yeah. Like, you're not hiding behind a boulder, waiting for your health to pop back up. Yeah, because everything you do in this, your gun is always up. Yeah. So you can heal yourself and still, like... Yeah. So I, I kind of like that. I think that adds... I think something so small like that mm -hmm. does make a big difference. I feel like... that. So that could go both ways, because it, some people might look at that and go, Oh, man, that might make it too easy. But I think the way you pitched it, the way if it's another thing you have to manage constantly, yeah. not a passive thing like an ability yeah. or a gadget, something that you have to constantly actively manage, I like that. Yeah, it adds a little layer of complication. Think about reloading at the wrong time and getting murdered. Yeah, and you get fucked. Like that's a thing that so happens. Healing at the wrong Here time. it's different because you can heal and shoot, yeah. but it's still like you're caught off guard. I'm assuming when you're one-handed, like doing something and you're still you shooting, ADS. That, you're, that you can't ADS okay. and you, your recoil... Is probably a little. I don't know how like, much you played Infinite Warfare, but they did start that system there. Did that? Okay. Yeah. I don't remember that. But it worked well. Infinite Warfare. I liked the campaign. I didn't play a lot of the mm -hmm. multiplayer. Um, three new zombie map maps at launch. Uh, there's that 
arena one that looks like it's all melee weapons, which yeah. I'm really fucking into. Different, yeah. Especially because I'm like really into Vermintide lately, yeah. and it just reminds me yeah. of that. Um, and then there's the Titanic map, which is great. Like what? Billy Zane, he caused the outbreak. I'm calling it. <laughs> and uh, there's another one that they just showed like a spooky little teaser for, but they didn't actually like show us what it was. Luigi's Mansion. I'm assuming that's more of like a classic map. Right, like a haunted like house. Like rundown gotta, house, like from World at War and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then along with zombies, custom mutations let player create custom rules for zombies, changing That's everything cool. from health to zombie speed and everything between. Uh, league play returns. And then there's a new battle royale mode called Blackout, where um, they, this says 100 players, but have they confirmed that? They have not confirmed okay, that. Okay, yeah. so X amount of players fight to become the last man standing, which the map is 1,500 times bigger than Nuketown, but as Tom. Reminded me when I said that earlier, the new town is not big. Um, it's going to have weapons, uh, land, air, and sea, mm -hmm. different characters. That's wild. Can we Th pause yeah, that? Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. Sorry for planes? Vehicles? No. Yeah, Helicopters, maybe? Planes, like, uh, I hate in video games because I can never figure them out. Oh, San Andreas. But no, that's, it's fucking, <laughs> that's really cool. Um, and then it's going to have uh, characters spanning across multiple Call of Duty games that you can play as, which is a cute way to like... Like a cute spin on like the skins and like Fortnite and the. Say it, Tom. Say the line. Which one? The battle royale, Call of Duty line. Oh. Hundred. Hundred captured prices dropped onto an island. Yes. I love that. I want that. And then on PC, it is coming to Battle.net or yes. Battle.net. I which I. I still say Battle.net. I say Battle.net because .net is stupid. Um. So it's, that's coming to PC on there, and they put a. Like an, like an emphasis on the PC release, which is cool. Yeah. And Beanox is working on that. Which is weird, but hopefully it's good, because Beanox just made okay Spider-Man games. <laughs> and, and I think the B-movie tie-in. Oh, good, yeah. It's National Bee Day today, so... Uh, uh, is that why that's like a thing? Yeah. I see all these bees. Yeah. Hmm. Fuck bees, as far as I'm concerned. But yeah, bees are dicks. I'm glad they get a day like everybody else. Nah, they don't deserve it. Is that it? They all fly in your can of soda when you leave it open, and then you go to drink it, and then they sting your mouth. <laughs> Bunch of pricks. How many cans of soda are you leaving outside? Don't worry about it. What do you... Okay. Uh, so, I think the biggest takeaway from this, at least from, from me looking, uh, one of the things I like is them changing up zombies seemingly a lot. That's kind of ballsy. You want to cut dudes up with a sword? Yeah, that's huge because it's so mainstream. Mm -hmm. Zombies, like, everybody plays zombies. Like, my grandma plays zombies. Uh, for them to... She doesn't, I lied. But... Uh, Grandmas definitely do. There's my grandma does there. actually watch The Walking Dead, which is fucked up and weird, but... That's a whole nother story. Um, yeah, I think that's just cool that they're shaking it up that much, especially for a player base that's known to very much just just like that thing for that reason. Mm -hmm. If they're putting you on the Titanic, that's so cool. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I'm willing to try that. No, no, definitely. So, I think it's really cool and weird. Uh, moving on, Donkey Kong DLC, which is coming to uh, Mario Rabbids. Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Yeah. I think you should do maybe one more of those I before you get started. This is uh, for oh, PS4 great. folks. Oh, cool. great. Hold on. What happened? You started talking and I cut to the... Uh... Oh. oh, no, that's fine. Hey, oh, gro Rabbids we're... Footage, hey growing so... pains, all right? Fucked everything up. PS4, Hellblade, send you a sacrifice. Play it. It's really fucking good. Very good game. Here's a code. I'll leave it up for a couple seconds before we talk about... Um... <laughs> Did you just write number four Hellblade really small on the yeah, bottom Yeah, no, I have my own numbering system, so that's why. So I don't like repeat the codes. So I'm trying. Saying I notice you. What's up? Okay. Don't yes. throw that out. You need that. Yeah, I need that. Uh, so, Donkey Kong DLC is coming to Mario Rabbit. Yes. The reason why we are actually talking about this, especially like a DLC after the game comes out, is because Mario Rabbit was actually a really good game. Did you watch the trailer yet? No, I did not. The music? Yeah. Still good? Still superb. Yo, it's got a Cranky Kong. Yeah, it also has a rabid Cranky Kong. What? Ew. I hate yeah. Cranky Kong. I don't like anything about that dude. Yo, I see with me Why playing not? Tropical Freeze, a lot of people on the internet are talking shit, saying that he's the worst of the three characters. He sucks. That you can... I love his his jump. So they they're like, okay, what if we take the Yo the Yoshimitsu Pogo, but we nerf it and make it horrible? And also, works for me. I just don't like his attitude. Well, he's like, a dick. Yeah, he's cranky. Who is he? All right, so who is he? Grandpa to? Uh, do Donkey current Kong. Donkey Kong. Yeah. So who's Donkey Kong's dad? Donkey Kong Jr. Yes. So, hold on. Who don't fuck Diddy Kong? <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I, what the fuck? I, sorry. Um, what, look at Andrew. He's like biting his tongue. So, no, break it down for me real Ooh, quick. Andrew. Because there is a deep history of all this. And you're the only person that gives a shit about Donkey Kong. So, so I think Otaku 
this put out this long ass article about mm -hmm. it. So according to them, I think I might have this wrong. If I do, I'm sorry. Uh, Donkey Kong from the first Donkey Kong game, I believe, is Cranky. And then Donkey Kong Jr. is Cranky's son. And then Donkey Kong is Donkey Kong Jr.'s son, which makes Cranky Kong Donkey Kong's grandfather. I'm and really Donkey glad. Kong Jr., we think, disappeared during the Great Ape War. That's not canon. That's which is real? a thing. Who fought that? And then, then from, who founded New Donk City? And then from there, I'm, I completely forget. So I have a couple questions. First, uh, how are you so well versed in the Congiverse? Congiverse. Because I do. Uh, I have very busy days here. Yeah, and... clearly. Uh, so what happened to Cranky oh, Kong? That's what I want to know. Why is he the way he is? Because he's old, and the ravages of time never stop for anyone. We're all gonna die one day, Jake Valdina. <laughs> well, uh, I was gonna chalk it up to Fox Eye, but that's fine. Um, so, the act, so what were we talking about? Uh, you keep hitting Kong your DLC. ring against the table. Oh, you took... What you, oh, okay. uh, New island with four different environments. I think that's good because all those environments uh, in the last game, in terms of area, every like actual environment was completely different. So I, I assume that's the same here, which means that's a decent amount of content. Uh, like you said, Donkey Kong, Rabbit Peach, uh, roll them up like a basketball. Great. Yes, the codes are a one-time use thing, by the way. It's not everyone, so oh. you have to be quick to get it, yeah. and that's how you get it. So as soon as that code pops up, start trying to redeem it. Don't write it down and try to do it later, because it is a one-time use code, just so the chat knows. I see a few people um, asking. And Fox, it was for Hellblade. Hellblade Send you a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. um, so Donkey Sorry, Kong... I keep cutting you off. I'm no, it's fine. To... Uh, Donkey Kong... Are you? Is this enough for you to go back and play Mario Rabbids? Again? Um, if I have the time, but it's, it's I, I have like game. thirty other games to play. Yeah. So probably uh, no, nothing against it. Yeah. It's just games. Yeah. A lot of games. I'm still surprised just how how good that game turned out. That yeah, I mean, when they announced it, I was like, ew, gross. I hate this because I fucking hate those little rabbit things. Ew, gross. He says. Yeah. But you were right. Uh, the worst is the the. Peach one, I hate her so much. She's hard. Yeah, I bought a statue of the Peach one this weekend. It was on sale. That's gonna stay at home. Tweeted That's it. gross. That's in, you're not putting that on your desk. <laughs> no, I'm gonna put it on the desk right there where you sit. Ah, thanks. We needed something right yeah, there. Right so, there. Uh, let's do another one. So next up, we got another State of Decay code. You can uh, redeem this on Xbox or PC. Right there. Smoke it up. One person gets it. Fastest fingers wins. What's that for? State of the K. State of the K. It's State not a Steam code. If you're going to do it on PC, it's yeah. Microsoft Store, unfortunately, yeah. you got to deal with them. Yeah. But hey, PC. We had to get PC players in here somehow, so we mm -hmm. tried. And it's gone. Uh, moving on to our next segment, what we are going to do is, uh, like I said earlier, <laughs> we're going to try this. Uh, we're going to do our work live on air, uh, hopefully with you guys involved. Um, we are going to basically deliberate the best stealth games of all time we need to make a top 10 list for a video so with that being said uh does any come to mind for you guys immediately off the top of your head uh metal gear solid all of them okay Cell. all right so how about this wait should we do we'll do series you want to do by series not specific game because the whole list would be just all splinter cell and metal gear if i had my way e yeah so the metal gear solid series splinter cell Splinter Cell. Early Thief. Gunpoint. Gunpoint. Okay, Gunpoint is... Which which one is Gunpoint it's again? Called Gunpoint. It's just called Gunpoint. Yeah, I remember us talking about this. Gunpoint is... A game. A uh, stealth puzzle game that lets you rewire its levels to trick people. Uh, Blake B 1999 says Siphon Filter. Okay, Crooked that's good. Mind X says Win Back. No. Uh, no. Win Back! As much as... Hey, I got what some... What up? Hey, I have some nostalgia with that game. Uh, but no, it's not. It wasn't good. For win stealth. back. <laughs> if you like win, win back, back. If, you like, if you like win back so much, name uh, three of its albums, fucker. Uh, Thief. I'll put Thief. Uh, my list is all. Are you Hit, Hitman? Dishonored. They're saying. Uh, all right. I'll. You know what? Yeah, Dishonored. So we'll write down a bunch and then we'll narrow them down. People are saying Echo. Have we? Uh, has anyone played Echo? The Dolphin. 
No, Echo. Oh, Echo, yeah. the game where yeah, you Echo have is. to trick the AI. Is Echo. that the one where like it learns and of like all, is, stealth games of all it? time? No. I don't know if that's of all time. Is it very yeah. good? Yes. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, very points good. for originality. Uh, I have Thief. I have Dishonored. <laughs> Mr. Um, Swifty19 says Sticks, Master of Shadows. Hey, you know what? I'll write it down. Sticks games. That's fine. I didn't really like the second one that much, but uh, what else we got? Um, you said Hitman. Hitman's good. Hitman rules. All right. Um, any more off the top? Especially of that new one. That new one's so good. I'm looking for games that are like stealth games, not games that are like, you know, you can do stealth if you want. Unless the mechanic is really good. Um, what does chat have? Chat chat has, has anyone redeemed the codes, by the way? Can I'm looking at the chat. If you won, just let me know yeah. so I see that people actually won. Yeah, if you successfully redeem it, yeah. like let us know, please. All right, Assassin's Creed. I'll consider Assassin's Creed. I'll put it, I'll put it on the pending. Um, especially the earlier Assassin's Creed games, like you were saying, like the social yeah. stealth, I think is cool. Um, now Assassin's Creed games, I think the stealth is too boiled down. Yes, I agree. But, uh, the Peter thing... Does Alien Isolation count as a stealth game? Uh, we had actually debated this with another list. What do you guys think? Because I... Yes, I think... Yeah, mm. you, the only thing is that it's like it's very much just hide from the monster. Yeah. But then we would have to also not do um, uh, the PC horror game. Halo Ben says monsters. volume. Volume, all right. Which all is right. pretty much just Metal Gear Solid VR missions, but still really good. Volume is yeah. fucking great. Yeah, volume is I love excellent. that game. I like volume a lot. Uh... Else we got. You know what has Arkham? really good stealth? The new Tomb Raider games. Yeah. Fun like, stealth. Yeah. List worthy? No. I just felt like talking about it. All right. That's fine. Uh, Mark of the Ninja. I will put What's that up, down. Sup, Freddy? We see you. Hey, Freddy. Uh, Mark of the Ninja. I'm yelling like this, like my mic isn't right you below you my fat neck. You don't have to yell like this. It's okay. Hello Neighbor is actually definitely a stealth game. I don't know if it's like list worthy, but Hello Neighbor. Yeah. Is has really fun and very aggravating stealth. Okay. It's coming to Switch this month, I think. No way. Mm -hmm. Really? They could barely get it running on Xbox. Yeah, I know. Or PS4. I know. Or PC. PC it runs okay. Xbox, I remember not so much. Okay, let's see what else. I, I got Mark of the Ninja. Uh, Chronicles of Riddick. Yes. Yeah. Escape from Butcher Bay. Are you That's, fucking serious? Uh, I think some people watching might be like, what? I quit if it's not on the list. Uh, so Chronicles of Riddick, Escape from Bit Butcher Bay was a... Kind of a miracle of a game based on a weird series that I happen to love for some reason. Uh, and it was a full-on good stealth game. Sci-fi stealth game. Uh, definitely think about that. Consider that. Um, so we have one, also two, Vin Diesel. three. Also because Vin Diesel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We got twelve. Uh, what about Tenshu? How do you guys feel about Tenshu? Deadbolt has some good stealth, Abe Foster says. Deadbolt? Okay. Is this mic going to pick up my stummy rumblies? Because I'm hungry. Andrew, rumbly? just... I'm just asking. Always with you. Uh, Sly Cooper, hype, says. All right. All right. Now, here's the hard part, though, is that we're getting so many. We're going to have to narrow these fuckers so down. So let's start narrowing. All right. So, Thief, as far as I'm concerned, staying. Metal Gear Solid, staying. Splinter Cell, staying. Gunpoint, up for debate, I'd say. Um, Siphon Filter, up for debate, I would say. Uh, Dishonored. Anybody? Dishonored? I'm not going to go to bat for Dishonored. Okay. I think I will. I put... As much as I'm I not get the it. biggest fan. Yeah, I yeah, get it. I think I will. I made a poll in chat to see uh, which of our children people love more, Metal Gear Solid or Splinter Cell. Yeah. Do you care to sit, know which, uh, or care to guess? I don't want to judge my audience too harshly. What do you think they like more? I feel like a lot of people are going to say Splinter Cell. 54, uh, yeah, 54% say Splinter Cell. <laughs> Fucking shit. That's <laughs> bullshit. That's fine. No, hey, you're entitled to your opinion. No, it's fine. If I could have both of them together at once, I totally would. Both one what? Of, one of, uh, when I, on the GameSpot forums back in the day, my username was Splinter Snake. Yeah. I thought that was real cool. You, Jake. Shut, shut up. Shut up. That right? was your Steam name for a, a little bit, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, feel free to take that, anyone. Uh, you, people take it, all my other accounts. Um, <laughs> sticks. The Sticks games, I think, no. I, I don't consider them in the upper pantheon. The Hitman games, I do. Yes. Hitman, I will keep. 100%. Assassin's Creed, I'll put a question mark. Volume, I'd very much like to keep. Mark of the Ninja I'd very much like to keep. 
I don't know about you guys. Are we under attack? What is that? Do you noise? hear that? Yeah. I wonder if the mic's fixed. We. Oh, Whoa. we live by an airport. That is yeah, we, our office yeah. is like a mile from an airport, yeah. if that. The whole building just shook. Uh, Deadbolt. I don't know much about Deadbolt. Uh, do either of you? I have actually never heard of that Can game. Get up a... Deadbolt is cool. I don't. I wouldn't. I don't know though about yeah. that. Uh, oh, okay. Deadbolt. Yeah. All right. This is hard because it's only ten. Obviously, opinions come into this, but uh, we can start letting chat vote a little bit. Uh, if you, if you think what do you want their choices to be, Jake? All right. Let's do so. Chronicles of Riddick. I think should just totally stay. Do you want to do? Deadbolt or Tenchu? No, Deadbolt or, I'm sorry, do it again. Deadbolt or Gunpoint? Gunpoint has a lot of potential, I think. We'll see what other Gunpoint people think. Gunpoint rules. Yeah. All right, and the chat is live. All right, go, uh, go vote for that. Go forth and vote. Um, how do you guys feel on Assassin's Creed in general? I think considering there's an asterisk there where there's like, you I don't have to really explain it. I don't think it's it. a good stealth game. Okay. Yeah. Hitman, I think, should stay. Yes. Um, Tenshu or Sly Cooper? Tenshu. Is it bad I would pick Sly Cooper? I'd go Tenshu. All right. Bye-bye, Sly Cooper. Sorry, dude. Tenshu, Deadbolt, Chronicle of Riddick, blah, 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 blah. Um, Siphon Filter, I think. Kick. I don't know about you guys. Okay. Yeah. All right, so I see people asking how to vote a couple people. Okay. Uh, you click, there's a little box in the bottom right corner, and you can click in the current poll. Is it the little hamburger? Yeah, you have to allow Streamlabs to work. Oh, uh, okay, cool. Uh, I see a lot of people asking. Yeah, so it's in the yeah. bottom right corner of the stream. There is a box with our logo in it, in a little gray box, and you click it. At the top it says current poll, and then you can vote. While we do that, let me give away another code. Before you do that, uh, DRS43. Yeah, this is going to be uploaded. Oh, this is going to be uploaded to the YouTube channel later. So anything yeah. that you did miss, you will get to see mm -hmm. uh, later on when we upload it later today. Yep. Later today. Okay. So what are you doing, Jake? About now? I am throwing up a code. All right. right. So we should go back for... to the main thing. What's the code for? This is for Hellblade. Send you a sacrifice on Again. PS4. This is another code. Fastest fingers wins. Whoever gets it, you're welcome. Like the hit song. By Dwayne The Rock Johnson. It's a good song. It is a great song. It's a very good song. It's an excellent song. Never saw that movie. It's very good. You never saw Moana? No, it's I, really listen, good. I listen to the song a lot. You never saw Disney's Moana? All right. Um, that's good. You guys see it? You got it? Somebody got it? Somebody out there? Fast Someone enough? probably swooped it. You got it. Enjoy. Uh, so we are now on Metal Gear Solid, Splinter Cell, Dishonored, Hitman. Volume, Mark of the Ninja, Chronicles of Riddick, Tenchu, a Thief, and then we're debating that last one via straw poll. So I feel good about that. Yeah. All right. Uh, what do you want number one to be? Oh, we're doing the full. Well, the thing? answer Let's is clear for that one. Metal Gear Solid. Absolutely. I would say number two, Splinter Cell, baby. Yeah, I'm with that. Uh, number three, what are you thinking? Hmm. Honestly, as long as the uh, Hitman, number three. I would go. I would yeah. go I was like, yeah. I didn't want to say it. I wanted you guys to. I'm yeah, good with okay. that. Uh, number four. I Can you would read do, them off? What, what do we have again? I don't uh, remember them all. Dishonored, Thief. I would say Thief go number four. Got to give love to the classics. Uh, there are some really good Thief games. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Metal Age. Is that what it's called? I don't remember. Uh, so now we have Chronicles of Riddick, Tenchu, Mark of the Ninja, Volume, Dishonored. Chronicles of Riddick. Chronicles of Riddick. All right. Followed by Volume. Tom, how do you feel about that? I'm okay, good. You good with giving a Vin Diesel game number five on a top ten of all time list? Yeah. yeah. All right. Why aren't you? Of all people, you should be down for that. I am so down. I am so down. I saw... I saw Riddick, the movie, 
starring titular hero Riddick. Uh, day one in theaters. That was great. And then Daniel Tosh made fun of me on Comedy Central. Uh, to, oh, yeah. yeah. To Shut reiterate up. to the chat, um, the State of Decay codes, uh, you'd have to redeem stuff like that, uh, Microsoft First Party stuff, in the Xbox store on Windows. Correct. Or just your Xbox. Yeah. Uh, it's one of those cross-platform ones, so if you, it's the Play Anywhere thing, so if you do redeem it on Xbox and you happen to have a PC, you'll be able to play on both. So... That was our way, at least for the first episode, we were trying to think of codes. That was the easiest way to do it, so we could give some PC gamers some love. You know? Kind of covers everything. Jack at him does ask Deus Ex. And I, I did think about Deus Ex. We left that out. Deus Ex does have good stealth. I think if we had to narrow it down, though, if I had to do so similar games, uh, Dishonored, Deus Ex, Thief, I would give it to Thief, and then I would give it to, to Dishonored. Okay. Okay. So I, I, I would hate to say it, but I, that's why I like totally... Not totally coming with uh, Deus Ex. I don't know if you guys are okay with that. Um, okay. Let's see. Uh, how's the straw poll looking? Uh, oh, yes. Let yeah, me let's check that right got. now. Let's see what our... I'm going to end the poll. And we got... It was pretty one-sided before. Okay. So the final poll results are 44 votes at 88% for gunpoint. Okay. Wow. All right. I'll give love to Gunpoint. So we have Gunpoint, Volume. Uh, in terms of indies, what do you want? What gunpoint. Do you want? Gunpoint first. I love Volume, yeah. but it's just like it's a lot of DR missions. As long as Volume's on that list, I'm happy. I would do number seven, Dishonored, if we're leaving it on, uh, which I'm cool with leaving it on. Then I would do at number eight, I would do Tenshu. Sure. And then number nine, I would do... Uh, I think we should figure out a way to visualize this for people. Like yeah, we'll, we, we'll figure yeah, it we'll out. We'll get a doc figure, up or something. First episode, we're yeah. figuring everything out. Uh, gunpoint, Dishonored, uh, Volume. Am I missing one? I have, I have nine. I'll read them out loud to you guys. Number nine, Volume. Number eight, Tenchu. Number seven, Dishonored. Number six, Gunpoint. Number five, Chronicles of Riddick. Number four, Thief. Number three, Hitman. Number two, Splinter Cell. Number one, Metal Gear Solid. What are you missing? Uh, you put ten, too. Uh, Mark of the Ninja. Oh, okay. I would be down with that as number ten. Got it. Okay. You know what maybe we should do? Maybe we should get, like, a whiteboard and, like, write them down or something, even. Yeah, just so I, a visual for me would be nice, too. Yeah. yeah. Let's get one of those ones with legs. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure something out. It's um, just like, we got a week uh, to the next show. This whole thing was not working until about five minutes before it went live. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How about that? But we're here, and so far so good. So uh, it'll get better over time. Uh, Tom, Tom, do you want to put, put it on me again? It's, it's still on you. Um, we I, did. Oh, I didn't tell you. I changed the whole thing, so when I'm talking, I'm a little pop-up. Yeah, corner. you look okay. good. Yeah. Uh, I think I gave them all away. How many did I do? Three? <laughs> I lost No track. idea. Shit. Uh, did three. <laughs> We did three? I, I lost one. Ah, uh, so Hellblade, State of Decay. We did two State of Decay. We did two Hellblades. And we did two Hellblades. Okay, yeah, so we're we, out of course. Oh, so did it all. Okay. okay, so. Oh, four. They're saying four. We did four. Yeah, okay. Oop. So we're good. Never Thank mind. You. Doing, our, doing our job for us. Thank you, chat. Uh, so the final list for our top ten stealth games of all time. Now, this is still subject to change, just because maybe we'll change our minds. But hey, uh, the input was really good. Stealth games of all time. Number 10, Mark of the Ninja. Yay or nay? Yay. Number 9, Volume. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Number 8, Tenshu, uh, the series. Number 7, Dishonored, series. Number 6, Gunpoint. I think that's good. I think that adds a little variety to yeah, the list. Yeah, agreed. You know, that's yeah. cool. Uh, number 5, Chronicles of Riddick. Number 4, The Thief series. Not the new one on PS4. Fuck that shit. That was garbage trash. It wasn't that bad, but it was not... Anywhere near yeah. the caliber of the old games. Uh, number three, Hitman, the series. Number two, Splinter Cell series. And number one, Metal Gear Solid series. My favorite series of all time. Hell yeah. Uh, I would love to see a new Splinter Cell at E3. Oh my I God. really like yeah, I'm I thinking know. someone in the chat I think was we're saying gonna. earlier that like they I'm freaking brought out. him into the studio. Yeah, I yeah. think we're gonna. Yeah. I love the way that all turned out though, the way they like they turned it around on us and they were like, Yeah, you guys were complaining that he wasn't a blacklist. Well he had fucking cancer. 
and it was like, oh, okay, now I feel bad about talking yeah. shit. Whoops. Yeah, whoops. Okay, well, that is our top ten stealth games cool. of all time. I'm satisfied with that list. Thank you, chat. Great work on that. Um, I think this can be the start of a beautiful, uh, a beautiful friendship with Agreed. all y'all. Yeah. Um, hopefully, everybody was able to redeem codes. Hopefully, that worked yeah, out. If there's a better way to do it. We'll we're, figure something. Yeah, we're gonna we'll, be yeah, working we'll on see. it. Like we're probably gonna leave this and go right into the other room and start talking about it again. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. just to see where. Yep. You know. So don't worry. But practice makes perfect. Um, I am glad that you guys stuck around and even showed up. Thank you. Yeah, guys. thank Especially you guys. For, like, this, this, is, like, this was fun. Episode one. Yeah, launch. this was awesome. Um, I guess housekeeping out of the way. Uh, this will be up on YouTube, like we said. Um, YouTube.com/slash Game Ranks TV. If you are curious, uh, we will be putting stuff there. And then, of course, then there's the Friday show every week. If you're watching late, uh, tr figure uh, you still want to get on the giveaway action, consider the console giveaway that we link in the description of the Friday show. Um, that's really all I got. Uh, uh, this is going to be every Tuesday, 4 yeah. o'clock Eastern. Uh, we're also going to be doing some additional streams throughout the week. Maybe not this week, maybe not next week, but very soon. Mm -hmm. Probably t at least two more streams a week where it's just going to be me, Tom, or Jake. One of us, two of us, or all three of us playing just something in a, like a just classic streaming manner. Just like, yeah. you know. We need some gameplay. Yeah, so, so don't worry. Uh, Saiyan, I saw you asking uh, numerous times. I won't be streaming on my channel. It will most likely be me streaming on this channel when it does happen very soon. Yeah. Yeah, and we'll have those, like a schedule of those. Yeah, there will be a set schedule. It won't be a surprise. Yeah, you we'll guys, have like so a whole guys, strategy You guys will know. Out. Um, the only other thing I did want to mention is uh, Discord. Uh, we have been taking questions from the chat, uh, but beforehand we also went in and took a few here and there from Discord, and we're going to be doing that in the future. So if you haven't already, discord.gg slash game ranks is kind of like where we lurk yeah. most of the time. I mean, I, I talk shit on Twitter all day, but yeah. we all kind of live in Discord. So hype if, just hit us with the, uh, the link in the chat, yeah, so you, go hit that. Thank yeah. you, also, Hype. I've seen a lot of people asking about E3. Uh, we're going to do an E3-centric show yes. as we get closer, and we'll also be doing a show from Los Angeles during E3. That will be yes, a nightmare. Uh, oh, be it's going to be great. I yeah. can't wait to fly we'll with We'll figure it stuff. out. Yeah. Uh, they're going to like think you're carrying on explosive devices, and you're like, no, sir, that's my uh, that's I'm my microphone. I'm all these lights and yeah. microphones. Yeah. 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 Uh, so definitely hop in Discord if you want. There's going to be a whole separate channel there uh, just for posting questions and stuff, discussing this show, the Friday show, general topics. Yeah. Consider Join us. Yeah. Uh, like you said, 4 p.m., uh, the biggest thing is you can also find out when we're live. Uh, you can follow Game Ranks on Twitter. Uh, that is linked in the Twitch thing right there, uh, as well as all our social handles. I like that you're pointing at where it is on your screen. Yeah, yeah. You're, you know, you know, you're yeah. looking at a computer. Below, too. below. Yeah. Uh, so I am on Twitter at Jake Baldino, at Andrew Gebbia, and at that Tom Johnson. We talk shit all day. Come find us. Day and night. Um, like I said again, thank you guys for checking it out, bearing with us, and. Helping us come up with a top ten list. This was this was fun. And yeah, this was a blast. This is the start of a beautiful future. So, uh, I guess we'll see you guys next week. Yeah. Cool. Well. Peace out. Thanks for stopping by. Pizza's on us. We'll see you guys later.